Making Mental Health Matters. That's the name of a new initiative focused on providing mental health across seven neighborhoods in Macon, Bibb County. Wanye Reese joins us live in Macon to share what it's all about. Wanye. Good evening, Lori. Making Mental Health Matters. It's just one step in solving the issue of crime that we see right here in our own community. Now, right now I'm live in East Macon, but I spent the day out in Pleasant Hill today and everybody that I talked to, they say that this is definitely a step in the right direction. For more than three decades, Charlie West has called Pleasant Hill home. Right long here. It's very quiet. Though things are quiet, Wes says the crime is sometimes alarming. The young folk need to stop all of that. A new initiative called Making Mental Health Matters is aimed at taking a fresh approach in ending crime. The county is planning to establish free mental health clinics in seven Macon neighborhoods, including Pleasant Hill. Just like physical health is important, mental health is important. The licensed world. professional counselor Gloria Cisse is heading up the program. That will be in East Macon, West Macon, Pendleton Homes, Bloomfield Drive, and other neighborhoods. We're going to do uh, needs assessment. We're going to do a focus group and spend some time talking to the people in those communities to see, to get their input, their feedback on what they believe would be beneficial for them. So it's Bibb County leaders say these services will help with things like conflict resolution, so people think twice before committing a crime. CSA says things like therapy and more will also help out. We're going to have a variety of programs. We're going to have pop up uh, mental health uh, activities. We're going to have drum circles. We're going to have uh, parenting. We have a lot of different kinds of uh, activities in uh, each community. CSA hopes that this teaches people the end goal is that violence should not be the solution for conflict, a sentiment that Wes says he can get behind. Now you heard Cissé talking about that assessment. She says she expects to get boots on the ground within the next couple of months. So Lori, definitely something nice coming here to Macon, Bibb County. Reporting live in Macon, Wanye Reese 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Wanye. According to the resolution, the program will cost $600,000 for the first year and be paid for using CARES Act grant money.